In today's lesson, let's go ahead and write the script for the score, and let's also throw the high score in there as well. They go together pretty good. So we'll go ahead, we'll jump into scripts. Uh, I don't have a score script, right? Let's make sure. All right, we'll go ahead, we'll create a script called score. Open that up. And jump right on in. Of course, I like to get rid of everything to start off with. All right, let's go ahead and we'll set up a couple of values here. Again, I'm going to make them serialized floats just because I want to watch them in the inspector. Actually, they don't need to be floats. They're scores. We'll make them ints. So the first one I'm just going to call score. Small s. And the next one is going to be high score. In start, I want to start them both off at, um, well, we don't have to start them off at zero. They automatically get that. Uh, for high score, I'm going to be saving that to player's pref. So I'm going to need a way to load that, which I'll call, uh, I don't want to call it on start. I'm going to make its own function that we can call it on start and then every time the levels reset. So load high score. And we're going to go into player prefs. Now we've done this before in our last game. And we're going to be using get int. And if we take a look here, it takes a string. And that'll go ahead and return the integer value for us. There's also one where we can set the default value. That's the one I want to use here. So what's the key going to be? Well, I'm just going to use high score, the variable name, and the default value will be zero. Now, of course, that's returning an integer, so we want to make sure we save that to high score. I want another method called void check new high score. And this one is going to take in a value. Well, I guess technically we don't need to take in a value because we already have the score here. So we can just do it this way. If score is greater than high score, then we'll call player prefs dot set int, the integer we want to set, which is high score. And then the value we want to set, which is going to be our score. So there we go. We'll go ahead. We'll save that off. And then the only other thing we need is to display the high score. So void display high score. And that just updates that display in our GUI system. So for that, we're going to need a reference to the text. And that means we need to add unity engine dot UI. Now I'm actually going to put them above here because uh, we, I've only got the serialized fields here just so I can see them. These I actually need. The serialized field, text, and I'm going to say high score text. Now I know I need another one for the score itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here as well. So now I come down here and say high score text dot text is equal to, and we should be using some sort of string format. We went ahead and did that the other day. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and just throw the high score up. Great, I think that's about all the methods we are going to need for the actual high score. And we need some for the high, for our, sorry, the, the score itself. Now I know this is going to be tied into the event system. So we are going to need the void on enable and the void on disable. And what we want to listen to is we want to be able to reset the player's score. And I'm going to do that when the game starts. So event manager dot on. Uh, start game, and I need uh, something to call when we start the game. And I'm just going to make a method called reset score, and we'll fill that out in just a second here. So plus equals reset score. Of course, we can grab that, bring it down into the on disable, because for everything that listens, it has to unlisten. Great. So I'm going to say score is equal to zero. Let's make that zero. And I want to make sure that I'm actually updating the score as well. The display. So we'll need one of those. And you know what, I'm going to keep all of the high score functions together, and all of the score functions together. So void update score or display score. Let's do it that way. Keep the naming the same. And I'm just going to come down again. We should use string format, but just to make it quick, 
do it this way, but instead of using high score text, we'll just use score text text. <laughs> and we're not going to be setting it to high score. We're resetting the score, so we're going to make this equal to score. And of course, anytime we adjust the score, we want to make sure we call it display score. And I just realized down here, if we have a new high score, not only do we want to save that high score, but we want to make sure that we update the display. There we go. And we also want the exact same thing on loading the high score. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess on reset. Well, I don't want to load the high score every time. I think we can actually get away with that just on start. When the game starts, we can go ahead and just say load high score. We don't really need to load the high score every time the game restarts. Only time we really need to load it is when the game first starts and every time there's a new high score. All right, so we need a method for when the player scores some points. And we need a method or sorry, an event for when to check the, the for a new high score. So we'll do the new high score first because that one's easy. It's just on the death. Not sure why I put a space there. So event manager dot on player death plus equals and this was check new high score and we'll go ahead just copy that right down into the on disable make sure we switch from plus to negative and the only thing next or the only thing we have left is to add a score so I'll put that right between reset and display void add score. Normally I would just call it add, but since we're doing high score and score in the same one, we'll change it a bit. And I'm just gonna call it AMT for amount. And I'm just gonna say score plus equals AMT. Now let's go ahead, we'll jump into the event manager and let's take a look at something for the score. We have one where we take damage, which is a float. I'm trying to remember why we made it a float, but we did, so it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new one. We can copy it. This is going to be a public delegate void score points. And I'm just going to uh, score point. No, we'll make it plural. And I'll stick to the delegate part. Except this time it's going to be an int. And we'll have one under the int. Change the delegate type. And this time it's going to be on score points. And we don't need these anymore. We know they work. Of course, if you want to keep them there, the, by all means, go ahead. And I'm just going to copy this one. I am going to go ahead and put it at the bottom. And this is going to be score points. And instead of float, it's an int. And I just want to keep the name a little bit more descriptive. On score points. On score points and I sit pots. I just noticed that now we'll fix that in a second. There we go. Welcome up to the event. Refactor it. And make it points. Save it. Let's check just to make sure it did update. It did. And now let's go listen to that in our score. So event manager dot on score points plus equal and what do we call it? Add score. And of course, don't forget to add that to your on disable and change it to negative. Now let's go ahead, we'll save that off. I'm gonna drop it onto the UI, set everything up. Oh, we got some errors. Then in the next video, we just gotta score points and we should be done. And what was our error? Not to string. Let's convert this to a string. We're probably gonna get the error down here as well then. That's fine. There we go. So I'm going to stick to putting it on the canvas just like before. And that was score. But again, does the score display when we're actually playing our game? Let me go ahead and assign everything and we'll check it out. So it's under game UI. Score to score. Uh, high score to high score. Now I just want the shield below high score. All right. Save scene, we'll start it up. Now it does hide it, but that's fine. Hit play, 
And they're both starting off at zero. So all we have to do now is find a way for us to score points. And that's it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just stick things in our scene that we've either got to shoot or maybe rings. Or so if I can find some nice rings or something, uh, we can fly through. And then that's it. We're actually done. I might make one more video where we go ahead and switch our graphics out for stuff off the asset store. That's pretty simple though. I think most people can handle it. If you want to see a video for that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and we'll see how many people actually need help with it. But anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube and go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears.